Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our first guitar lesson. My name is Erda Noah Mushero, uh, aka Mushero wa Guitar. Uh, this is going to be our first uh, lesson. And this, le uh, this program is based in uh, Lathrop, California at JICC, Joy International Church Center. And I'm very thankful because of the leadership, our pastor, Pastor Boro, uh, the first lady, Mrs. Boro, and uh, I thank God for this opportunity. So we are going to start with uh, uh, the basics, and we, we are going to start with learning the parts of the guitar. So um, don't go anywhere, stay still, and then we are going to, fin to start our lesson today. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, here we have uh, a box guitar, and uh, this is what we are going to use uh, for our first lesson. And uh, this is the right way to hold the guitar. You make sure you are sitting on an upright chair, and make sure that you. You know, you are sitting upright and you are comfortable. And then uh, classical guitar, sometimes they, they hold the guitar like this. They put it in between the, 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 the legs. Uh, but it's okay if you, if you can hold it like this. If you're more comfortable like this, that's fine. And so we're going to start with the parts of the guitar. Just a little basic stuff. Um, this is the body. This is the body itself, the body of the guitar. Uh, again, we say it's a box guitar, uh, meaning that uh, you can use it without plugging it on on, a, on the electric or on the you know amplifier. You don't need to use the amplifier because it's hollow inside and it makes the sound. So over here we have the face. Or the fretboard. This is called the fretboard, and then you have this little uh, little metal wires going uh, across. These are the fret wires. All this, and then we do have um, in between. It's the frets in between the spaces. That's called the fretboard. And then over here, the white piece over here, it's called the nut, and it holds the strings from here all the way down to the, this piece over here, and this piece is called the bridge. It holds the, 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 the beginning of the strings. And then we do have these metal things over here, the keys. They are for tuning, uh, and they are called pegs, tuning pegs. And there are six of them, so because we have six strings. We have the first string, the second, the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth. I don't know whether you can see uh, properly, but um, this is, we have six strings. Um, and then I don't see anything else that uh, uh, we need to know as far as the parts of the guitar. Um, so we're gonna <clears throat> go ahead and start learning the basics now. Uh, we do have six strings. And this is the first string. And this is the second string. Third string. Fourth string. Fifth and sixth. So we have all of them, we have six strings. If you look at my hand, I'm holding a, a pick. It's called a pick. If you're comfortable using a pick, it's okay. You can go ahead and uh, use a pick. And the best way to hold it is uh, you put it like this on the index finger and then you, you hold it on top with the thumb like this. Make sure you feel comfortable. If, you're, if you feel comfortable using the pick, use, you can use the pick. If you're not comfortable with the pick, I recommend that you use your thumb. Some people find it um, 
more comfortable to use the thumb. Others like to use the pick. I myself, I, I like to use the thumb. Okay, so the first string is, string number one is called E. That's E, which is string number one. Uh, string number two is B, it's called B. You can write down if you, if you uh, think you might not, you, you might forget. So string number two is B. String number three is G. String number four is D. String number five is A. And then the last one, and which is the thickest of all, is string number six. And it's also called E. So they sound the same. E, the, the, the first one and the last one sound the same. One is more low, the other one is higher. sound the same one is high pitch the other one is lower pitch okay if you if you are comfortable now if you are holding it the guitar the right way uh, we will start to learn a few chords or uh, a few keys um, we go, we are going to start with the, the basic basic key of C I love uh, the key of C or C chord because it has a lot of songs and I find it to be a little bit easier to hold it than some of the other keys but uh, we are going to start with the key of C we, and then I'm going to teach you about the, hand, the left hand the left hand we have the thumb we have the first finger which is the index we have the second and we have the third and the fourth the pinky is the fourth so we have thumb, index or first, second, third, and fourth. Thumb, first, second, third, and fourth. It's very important. The way I'm going to explain to you, you need to know this. This is the thumb, and this is the index or the first finger, second, third, and fourth. To hold your key or to hold any chord, you need to put your thumb behind the neck. This is the neck. Behind of the, the uh, fretboard, fretboard is the neck. And your thumb needs to be there. Some people will, you know, put the thumb up here, but it's recommended that you put it behind over here. So if this is the first finger, it's going to hold the second string on the first fret remember this is first fret second fret that fret for the fifth like that so the first finger is going to hold string number two which is a b on the first fret and then the the, the second finger is going to hold the that the, the fourth string on the second fret so it will be like that and then the third finger, which is this one, is going to hold string number five on the third fret. Don't forget, this is the first fret, second, and third. And then make sure that you are just holding the strings with your tip of the fingers. And it's, it's supposed to sound clearly. Make sure you're not touching any other uh, strings under the fingers. So we're going to go ahead and strum from num string number five. All right, guys, that's that's your C, the key of C. If I'm using the thumb, it's the same. It has a more faint uh, sound. That's the key of C. If by any chance it doesn't sound uh, clean or clear, don't worry, you know, you just need to practice more and hold, try to hold with the tip of your fingers. 
since we are not holding the sixth string, it's going to be open. It's called an open string. And even the first one here, it's open. So that's why we are, str we are str strumming from string number five downward. That is the key of C. Okay, you strum it a little bit, a few times. If you feel a little um, pain on your fingers, you know, don't worry. Practice, uh, you know, you can stretch your fingers a little bit and go back to it. So the first finger is holding string number two, and the string number two we say it's called the B. The string itself is B. Because the first one is E, the second string is B, the third string is G, uh, fourth string is D, and then uh, fifth is A, and then the last one again is E. Because the last string, or the, the thickest one will sound the same as the first one, only the pitch differs. One is faint, the other one is the pitch is high. Again, um, we learned that the best way to hold the guitar is you are sitting upright. That's why I'm sitting on an armchair. Um, relax, you know, don't be tense. And then uh, this arm, you can it can rest here, and and then your your struck your strumming will be just by the by the round hole over here. Always remember that the thumb is supposed to be at the back of the neck and this is to support you uh, as you are holding your chords or the keys. So that's the key of C. The key of C. And the key of C we say it's string number, uh, finger number one is going to hold string number two first fret. Uh, the finger number two is going to hold string number four, second fret. Street, uh, finger number three is going to hold string five on the third fret. Again, don't forget please, this is the first fret, this is the second and this is the third. And over here we have thousands, we have, we have a lot of keys over here and you can play thousands and thousands of songs. Just using these three frets. So this is the first fret, second, and then third. And as we progress, we, we, uh, I'm going to show you, you know, when you come this way, you know, um, as you advance. But for now, um, we are concentrating on the key of C, and I hope you can see clearly. That's the key of C. And if you are the type of person who likes to to start um, trying things, you know, trying to see what you can use with it. You can listen, listen to the key of C. If you are creative, you can you can say something like this, or you can sing something like this. when they say. You, you don't even need to change. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints. See, you're just strumming downwards, you know. But that's where the key, of, the chord of C. That's the key of C. That's how it sounds. And if you wanna sing something, you have to sing where the key is. When the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, yeah, you can practice just like that. Oh, when the saints, you can even strum once, once, starting from five down one. Oh, when the saints go marching in. continue like that you practice you practice 
days can take you hours, it can take you a couple days, depending on how much effort you put. But that is the key of C. You can relax your fingers a little bit, stretch your fingers. You know, I know it's gonna feel a little bit uh, stretched. But yeah, so the first finger, again this is the first finger, first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger, and this is the thumb. And so today we learned um, about the parts of the guitar. This is the bridge, uh, these are the strings, this is the, face, the, the fingerboard. All oh, this is called the fingerboard. And then we have the frets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Some have twenty-one, some have eighteen, depending on how big uh, the guitar is. And then we do have the nut. This controls the the strings. So it, so it, <clears throat> from from the tuning pegs down here, it holds the string, and then it comes straight. Um, these are the tuning pegs. They are called tuning pegs. That is where we're going to learn about tuning some other time. Um, but this is for tuning because you have to tune the guitar. But we are going to learn that uh, in another lesson. So um, I hope that this helped you uh, at least to be able to start, you know, to start learning. And um, for the, we are going to concentrate on the key of C. And um, <clears throat> when, when you are comfortable with the key of C, we will be able to check on the keys that go together with the key of C. Which other keys go together with the key of C? Because there will be, you need three keys. Basically, you need three keys to play a song. That's the basic. You need three keys to play a song. So I'm going to be uh, letting you know which keys we are going to learn uh, so that we put it, put it together with the key of C, you'll be able to uh, play a tune. But this is the key of C again. Make sure it sounds clean and clear. You, you, you don't want it to be sounding like that. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to sound like that, but make sure you check your fingers and make sure that they are, they are um, you are holding it the right way and the fingers need to stay like this the fingers need to be bent like this so that you can be able to touch only the string that you need to touch but not the string under it under that finger so it's supposed to sound very close and very clear Go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in, that's where you change, and that's where we, we're gonna learn how to combine the different keys so that you can be able to play the whole tune. But again, this is the key of C. Please practice. Always remember the parts of the guitar. And then practice the keys, the chord of C or the key of C. And for the next lesson, we will revisit the, the, the same key. And then from there, we are going to, I'm going to introduce another key. Um, and, 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 and then we go from there. Thank you very much for your patience. Uh, until next time, it's your teacher, Erdamon Noam Shero. AKA Mushero or Guitar. Thank you.